tell us why you wanted to chat. Yeah, so I'm um, grateful for you giving me the time to. Uh, I, I suppose I wanted to be able to have a, a kind of human conversation about why I've made the decision not to stand in the next general election. Um, so yeah, I thought I, no better person to have the conversation with than yourself. You're not going to stand not for the SNP? Not no. I'm stepping down at the next election. Why? Honestly, because I don't... Th- I'm tired uh, is a big part of it. And the thing that makes me tired is Westminster, I think, is one of the most unhealthy workplaces that you could ever be in. It's a toxic environment. It is just the entire design of the place and how it functions is just the opposite of everything that I find comfortable. Toxic is a strong word. It means poisonous. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. It's definitely a poisonous place, <laughs> whether that's because of, uh, you know, what folk can get away with in it or what the, the number of um, sort of personal motivations and, you know, folk having ulterior motives for things. And it's just it's it's just not a nice place to be in. What does that mean? You don't you don't trust people. You don't trust your colleagues there. No, I mean, of course, there's. I work with very closely with colleagues, but I suppose I'm talking more about how it's difficult to know if somebody's, certainly from other parties, is talking to you because there's a genuine relationship there or whether they're looking for opportunities. You know, so you can never really switch off when you're in Westminster. And also, given the, I suppose, unsociable hours that Westminster works as well it feels like you're spending a lot of your life there and in the run up to the next election I've realised that'll be almost 10 years that I'll have been elected so a third of my life I've spent in Westminster which gives me the ick. Yeah you are you are too young to be tired this early. (laughs) I I mean to to remind Mm -hmm. our listeners you were 20 when you won your seat you were the Youngest person to be elected, I think, since the Act of Parliament. Mm-hmm. 300 years. Yeah, as far as I'm aware. Do you think that is part of the problem that you... I mean, it just presumably, it mm-hmm. ate up your your childhood, your adolescence. Mm-hmm. You you weren't allowed to go and get, yeah, as you would say, pissed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I, I still managed to fit that in every now and then. Um, no, I, I think it's more... I, I don't regret spending any of the time doing what I've done. You know, I, I'm fighting for what I believe in and doing so in a way that I, I've had the encouragement of others to push me forward and do it. But I actually think the fact that I'm younger is partly why I suppose I see everything that's wrong so starkly. I think is it, I can understand why people get absorbed into the world of Westminster, how folk can spend 40 years working there, because it's, it's a world unto itself. Mm. It's got its own culture, its own sort of history and everything, um, which is just still alien to me. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 